Why hello there you sexy bees, Vadiwa here. A lot of you guys asked me what I thought about Valve's recent change with the Steam Workshop. You know, giving mod authors the option to charge people to download his or her mod. And I'm gonna let you guys know what I think about modding in general. I usually buy games where there's a lot of modding or user generated content available, like Half-Life 1, Half-Life 2, StarCraft, Diablo 2, and etc etc because I was a poor gamer. And I'm sure that there are plenty of poor gamers these days as well who did what I did before, buying games that has the highest amount of modability and replayability. So I will always see mods as a free way to make the most out of a game, get the best bang out of your money, and to extend the game's life. I also see modders making mods as a hobby, for fun, and to share his or her work and passion with the rest of the community that also enjoy the game as well. Now on paper, the changes to the Steam Workshop looks good. You support the modder and whatnot, but in reality, it seems like a money grab from Valve and Bethesda. And from what I've heard, the modder only gets 25% of the earnings, 25%, and the other 75% goes to Bethesda and Valve. And the modders can't really cash out until they reach a minimum limit from their earnings. There is also an issue of mods containing resources from other mods and even reports of people stealing free mods elsewhere and selling it on the Steam Workshop. And from what I can see, this is just a giant screw up, a giant fuck up, and it's just a very, very awkward and horrible situation for the modding community. Not to mention that I am not going to be paying every time I want a new sexy armor or a weapon. So what do I think about the changes to the Steam Shop? Well, we have Beth here in NBC, a very well-off inhabitant of Tamriel, who is sitting on her throne, which happens to be a Valve. Oh man, what a coincidence. And she sits there and she begs for money, even though she is well-off. She has all those nice clothes, all that swagger, all that jewelry. So what should I do to express my feeling? Hmm... Oh, okay, I know, I know, I know. I know exactly what we should do. This is what I truly think about it. Come on, girls. Come enjoy the show. Don't be shy now. Come on. <laughs> now, it's a very good thing that I don't really use the Steam Shop anyways for 99.99% .99 of my modding needs. So, I hope that this change to the Steam Workshop doesn't affect the rest of the modding community. So yeah, I hope that the Tentacles was a straightforward way of expressing what I feel about the whole fiasco. Now what do you sexy beasts think about Valve's change to the Steam Workshop? Let me know in the comment section below. If you share the same views as me, make sure to bang that like and subscribe button. Bang it good. Well then, stay sexy my friends. Stay sexy.